All right, what up, y'all? So, <laughs> this this just gets more and more foolish as time goes on. Now, I, I'm here. Now, I have two conflicting reports. Now, a few days ago, it came out that apparently one of the plans for WrestleMania 41 is going to be Cody Rhodes defending the undisputed championship against not only Roman Reigns but The Rock as well in the triple threat match. That's the long game that they've been playing. Okay. Cool. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And then today, a new report comes out that The Rock isn't going to be at WrestleMania at all. Like he he's done. So I'm sitting here. I'm I'm I'm. I just read the report about 20 minutes ago. Huh? So so listen. Let's just start talk about the triple threat first because The Rock not being at WrestleMania that's asinine. He's going to be at WrestleMania. I'm not even I'm not even putting too much stock into that. Let's talk about the triple threat for a second. The reality of this is is stupid. It's, it's, it's stupidity. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's, it's stupidity to the highest extent. The fans at the the fans, the majority of fans apparently, they want to see The Rock versus Roman Reigns, and then Cody Rhodes versus Randy Orton. Cool. I don't want to see The Rock and Roman Reigns match, but hey, if you got to do it, go with it. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll deal with it. It's not that deep. There's no championship on the line. I could be, Roman's going to win anyway. I could be, there's, there's much more important things happening in wrestling than that, okay? Um, it's, it's, I don't know why everyone's saying it's the greatest, the biggest match in the history of professional. No, the biggest match in the history of professional wrestling was Cena versus The Rock, and it will never be changed, okay? Now, my thing is this. Why are you making this so complicated? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why are we doing all this, this, this duty do for, for, like, no. Nah, the majority of the fans want to see Rock versus Roman Reigns. You've been trying to do this match for eight years now. You know what I'm saying? I, I know the, these new wrestling fans, the, these younger wrestling fans, try to act like this this shit just started in WrestleMania 39. No, this has been brewing ever since The Rock held Roman's hand up when he won the Rumble in Philadelphia. And the crowd was booing and Rock was looking around like, uh, I'm The Rock. I'm supposed to, you know. So the moment was right there where Rock was like, okay, maybe... We can have a Rock versus Roman Reigns match, and then I pass the torch to Roman, and then we get... No, this has been brewing for years. But The Rock is doing Jumanji 18, the Two Fairy 15, Fast and the Furious, how furious can we get when we're faster? Hobbs and Shaw. What else do you do? Um, uh, the, the Game Plan 6. Like, what, what, what are we doing? What? 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 Central intelligence. I got to do 14 more moves with Kevin Hart. Rock, please. You make things so complicated every year. Every year. A triple threat doesn't do anything. Because at that point, the only thing they'll be doing the triple threat for is so they can have the best of both worlds. So they can throw Cody out the ring and have a stare off between Roman and Rock as if I'm supposed to give a damn about that. People keep telling me I'm supposed to give a damn about that. I do not. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. Just do the aura off that they've been trying to do. The, the Rock and Roman Reigns match that's going to suck anyway. Just, get, just please, just get it over with. I'm tired of hearing compl- people complain. I'm tired of it. And I promise, bro, It. let's just go with the scenario. Let's just go with the scenario that this triple threat happens. It, it's Nine times out of ten will not happen. But let's just say it does. What if Rock just retires after that? What if, what if Rock just says, no, like I'm not saying he gets hurt. I'm just saying, what if the Rock just says, all right, I'm done? You know, I'm mad. I'm going to have to hear the fans whine for the rest of my life if I have to hear. No, I don't. Bro, 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 bro. Rock, you don't have all that time left. Roman and Cody got years left. Rock, you do not. Just do the Roman match. Get in there for 15, 20 minutes. Stare at each other. Spear, Superman punch, people's elbow. You can smell it, smell it. And then just go. We go, we go home. We go home. If y'all want a main event WrestleMania... I think that's a terrible idea. I think Cody should because he's the undisputed champion. If you, they want to manifest WrestleMania, I deal with it. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Just get this match out of my face, bro. Just get the idea of this match out of my face. Can someone do it so someone can win and we can go home and shut up? I'm, I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of the loop-de-loops with this stuff. And, and then the, the story coming out of Rock not being there is nuts. That, for sure, is not true because... First of all, apparently it was a Dave Meltzer report. I thought I thought I said we were done listening to Dave Meltzer. I, I thought that's what I said, but you know, maybe I got to say it again. 
We're not listening to Dave Meltzer. I don't know what, I don't know. First of all, I've never listened to Dave Meltzer. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why, no one has ever told me why I should care about this man's opinion. To me, he's just an old wrestling analyst. He's just, a, he's just a man analyzing wrestling. So why are you taking his opinion over some, someone else's opinion over someone else's opinion? Like, what? Why should I care? Oh, he's been watching wrestling for a long time. Okay, cool. I know a whole bunch of people watching wrestling for a long time. I'm not just taking their opinion over anybody else. Dave Meltzer, star rating. Shut the man out of my face. Anyway, um, no. The Rock is going to be at WrestleMania, whether that be in a match or not. Which is going to be in a match because we we already went through all of this at 40. He was pissed off that the fans didn't want to see him fight Roman last year. So he's going to get his match against Roman no matter what. I don't care about the schedule. Because you got to think about it. Remember all the reports that came out before 40? Oh, now Rock and Roman is going to be Elimination Chamber. Oh, wait, no. Rock says no. He ain't going to wrestle at all. Oh, wait, no. The Rock is going to be in action, but it may not be against Roman. Oh, now they did the tag match late as hell. The tag match came out of nowhere. They were like, oh, let's just do it. That, that popped out. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't always there. That just got oh, Here we go. Tag match. That was that was a, a, a new idea. No one even thought of that. We, saw, we heard that. We we're like, what? The, you know what I'm saying? But like, come on. Come on. Let's just... I think we should do Cody versus Roman 3 at WrestleMania 41. That way, if Roman were to win the championship back, Cody's champion for a year, I can't be mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to, you know, if Cody retains, then Cody beats Roman in the series, and then we move on from it. But isn't that how we do things? If There's no reason why Triple H should be 50-50 booking this feud. Triple H 50-50 books every feud. Every feud, damn near, he 50-50 books. Roman got one at 39. Cody got one at 40. It's already tied up. You might as well break the tie if you're not going to do this nut-ass rock match. Now, if you're going to do the rock match, then have Roman and Rock. Just do it then. People have been complaining for a decade now. I'm not trying to hear it no more, bro. I'm not. Shut up. Shut Bro, shut up. Just do it. Please. For, for me. Just, just Please. Someone do, someone do something. But the rock not being at WrestleMania, that is not true. I don't care how many movies he's filming, TV shows, songs with Tech Nine. I don't care what he's doing. He's going to be at WrestleMania 41. That is not even I, that. That's a un, that, that damn near is a lie. That, that it's teetering along a lie. That, that's that's not you know what I'm saying. Nowhere close to being true. Now, again, it's just Cody. If you're gonna have Cody defend a championship against Randy Orton, that's a great match to have. I'm on board with that hundred percent. If that's the move they want to do. That's great. The story tells itself. And again, Cody can lose. And it's cool. If Cody retains, cool. If Cody loses, also cool. Randy gets the last championship run, you know. Cena's probably going to win a championship at, at, at WrestleMania as well or before that. You feel me? Then you got that whole story of, of Cena, of Randy trying to chase Cena and Cena trying to chase the record. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole thing going on, you know. You may be able to get a Cena and Randy Orton match out of that. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, come on, man. Come on, like the way I was, the way I was thinking is is Cody versus Roman at forty one, Cena and Randy at forty one. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't know what to do with Rock. I didn't know what to do with Rock. Part of me, part of me, now now hear me, hear me. Part of me wanted to be like Rock is almost at the end of the career, you know. Stone Cold is almost at the end of the career. Rock versus Stone Cold one more time. We all saw, listen, Stone Cold can still go. Stone Cold looked better than Rock did at 40, at, at, um, what was that, 38? He fought against Kevin Owens. He looked better than Rock did at 40. I ain't gonna lie. Stone Cold looked like he could still go. Not too long, but he looked like he could still go. He was in there with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens ain't no, ain't no damn joke. Stone Cold versus The Rock one more time. I could do that. I could do that. How about that? You know what I'm saying? But they're probably not going to do that. You're probably, yeah, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the Usos versus um, Gorillas of Destiny. You know what I'm saying? The Usos probably win the championships back. You know what I'm saying? You got a whole thing going on. You got, you got a whole thing going on. I don't know what, so, I'd probably be Solo versus Jacob or something like that. You have the entire Bloodline story wrapped up right there. That's what I would do. But you know, that, some people, you know, say, but listen, The Rock versus Roman Reigns, I'm cool with it as long as there's no championship involved. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was worried about. That's why I was so mad last year for 40. I'm like, this match cannot be for a championship. Because Rock should never be champion again. And Roman was already going to 
if Cody wasn't going to beat him, no one else was going to. You know what I'm saying? I, I knew Cody was going to be the one to beat him when he came out, when he they, when he came back, when he returned against Rollins. They told you that night that he was going to be the one to beat Roman. It was going to take a little bit because Triple H adversity, you know, adversity, uh, you got to wait for the right time. You know what I'm saying? We, we all knew that was coming. But you got to realize all this stuff was changing as soon as the crowd was like, all right, no. The crowd helped all of this stuff change. You feel me? So, no, we shouldn't just make this overcomplicated. The triple threat makes no sense. They tried, That was the story last year. Remember the story? We had this conversation last year. Something to do with triple threat. We had this conversation last year. And then it, someone said, turn to a fatal four-way. Throw Rollins in there. Throw Rollins in there for what? Then they're saying Cody fight Rollins. So Rollins could lose to Cody again. Like they, People were just saying dumb. They were saying stupidness, bro. Stupidity. Goofy. Trash, booty. You know what I'm saying? But no triple threat. Keep it simple. If you if you're gonna do it, disregard what I'm talking about. Disregard what I'm talking about completely. If you're gonna do it, just do it. Just do it. Rock and Roman, Cody and Randy, and we get out of here clean. If you want my opinion, you heard what I said. You know what I'm saying? I gave you my 41. If you want to do your own 41, cool. Do that. Great. Do not add Cody into this. Do not make it a triple threat. Rock should not be def- trying to win a championship at this point in his career. Just have Rock and Roman fight over who's the tribalist of the Chiefs. That's it. We all know Solo's not because Solo has gotten pinned damn near every show since he said he was. So you want to do a triple threat so bad? Put Solo in the match. Tell me some damn triple threat? Put Solo in the match. Now what? Yeah, yeah. You don't like that, do you? Throw Jacob Fatu in there. He's better than damn near all of them. Come on. Oh. I'm done with this, man. Y'all, y'all let me know how you guys feel about it. Do y'all think The Rock's showing up at WrestleMania? We all know he is, but The Rock does all this. He, he does this every year. So, I mean, there's a chance he may not, which is hilarious enough. He may just say no, nah, and that would be that would be funny. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's, make, let's make the fans wait longer. I, you know, I guess. I don't really care. I could care less. You can never do the match again, and I'll... I'll be fine. If Rock and Roman Reigns doesn't happen ever, I would be so cool. I, I may I may even smile. I may even smile. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe, and subscribe. If you have not already, comment down below kind of what you want me to do next. Stay safe and well. I love you guys. Praise God. And I will see you in the next video, man.